Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hi, everybody. So we're back in the speakeasy tonight to film another episode of Budget, Budget Bourbon. Bourbon. No. One of us was way more excited to do that than the other one. One of us was... <laughs> David, I think I'm excited. So anyway, tonight we are doing a follow-up. We did the Budget Bourbon video. We had 15 bottles and Jamie selected five of them to do a double blind for me. So I didn't know yeah. what was in there. It went really well and you guys asked to do it again and... Do some more bottles, so we're gonna do that. Jamie is going to pick from that table five bourbons that are budgety bourbons around $25 or less. Did you say budgety? I did, it's a word, I made it up, but it sounds good. <laughs> There's 10 over there, she's gonna pick five. We're gonna do a double blind. The most expensive one is a- Cheers, everybody. <sighs> so we have 10 over there, she's gonna pick five. The most expensive one over there is the probably a Buffalo Trace. Running right around twenty four ninety nine ish, but every everything else is cheaper than that as far as I I can think of. They're all should be fairly available too, except for maybe Buffalo Trace. Okay. Mm, there's a couple other ones that might have little little gotchas there to get them, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and do this here in a second. But before we do, wanted to say thank you so much to the patrons of the channel. Really appreciate your support and all you guys do for the channel. See if you said it like. Thank you to all the Patreons for supporting the channel. We're here because of you. See, like if you did it like that, they would be a lot more excited. I don't like you right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and thank you to the Patreons for supporting the channel. Well, I've, I, I, you know, I'm just more naturally more like level. And... See, even, even stitches don't hold me back. If you end up enjoying the video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Smash it. Smash it. And now let's get into the bourbons. You ready? Yes, is, I am ready. Is David. there anything that I need to do before we get started? Nope. Just get I got out of your this. way. Yep, get out of here. So tonight I'm drinking a mimosa only because I need a straw still with my face. Let's get started. <laughs> Don't do this at home. It is not a smart idea. We have Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Evan Williams Bottled in Bond Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Old Tub Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey unfiltered. We have Wild Turkey 101 Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And we have Fighting. Still not gonna say it, but we are gonna pour it tonight. <sighs> we are done. Are you feeling pretty good about this? <laughs> nope. Nervous. <laughs> this one actually smells pretty good though. Mm -hmm. There's a hint of cinnamon and like this nice oh, honey it sweetness. Does smell good. It smells yeah. good. Under that I get just a little bit of herbalness. But on the nose, this one's actually kind of kind of nice. So on the palate, this one's quite spicy. Strong herbal, lots of baking spices. There's a little bit of almost kind of a grassiness to it. It's very faint, but just it's there. There's a subtle touch of like a black licorice too. Oh. Just a little bit. Better than some of the others that we had in the last one. It's better than Ancient Ancient Age 10 Star. This one has like more of almost a little bit of a bubble gum. It reminds me a little bit of not like a mint gum, but just like a regular bubble gum, like one of the pink bubble gums. Yeah, that's weird. And then there's a little bit of a red berry. It's kind of light and airy and a little fruity. At first I didn't like it, but I'm kind of, it's growing on me on the nose. On the palate, it's quite nice. It's got this really kind of nice, kind of a little bit of a fruitiness, a little bit of spice and herbalness, very, actually very little spice, but a hint of herbalness, a little bit of almost like a dried fruit too. And the sweetness is touch of caramel maybe and honey. I can't believe how cold it is. <laughs> I know, that's why I have the candles. <laughs> I was like, I, I should have brought my off. jacket. <laughs> Speakeasy gets cold in winter, which is great because the does. bourbon is cold, right? It stays, yeah. keeps it nice and cool. So this one on the nose is a little bit I don't like it as much as the others. It's got a little bit of kind of a dusty hay on the nose. It's not. Maybe a hint of a mustiness as well. You're musty. <laughs> it's not off-putting, but it's not the, my favorite. And there's a little bit of a peanut as well, peanut shell, kind of a dried peanut shell. On the palate, there's a lot more peanut. A little bit of, I'm getting that black licorice again. Mm. Stronger this time. A lot of peanut shell. 
not uh, now it's turning into like a chunky peanut butter chunky peanut butter yeah it's not like what a creamy and chunky? smooth one but it's a chunky peanut butter <laughs> Well, chunky peanut butter, there's like more like the nuts, like you've got the chunky nuts, and so you get it more nut nuttiness as opposed to more like creamy sweetness. Oh, hmm. I guess sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a kind of a nice balance. There's a little bit of an herbalness, and then it's kind of got this honey sweetness, kind of honey syrupy sweetness, a little bit of a... a a little bit of a fruitiness. It's not like a red berry, but there's just kind of this fruitiness there. Maybe a green apple kind of thing going on. Real subtle. I smell the it fruit. Smells it smells balanced. It smells really well balanced. I definitely pick up the fruity. It's pretty spicy on the palate. It's got this really kind of nice, sweet nuttiness. It's not like a peanut butter or a peanut shell. Almost more of a cashew than a peanut. Hmm. But it's really kind of nice. I, I, I kind of dig it. Aside from that, again, there's you know a little bit of spiciness. There's that kind of peanut, there's some sweetness there, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla too, and then there's kind of this rye spice as well. This one has a really kind of a nice caramel, like a light, thin caramel nose. That's really about all there is. That has a strong kind of a peanut shell. It's a little bit higher proof, a little, a little bit of attitude on that one. Like proof attitude or like... It's just got a really strong one. presence. All right, so we've gone through them once, and when we come back, I'll uh, put them on pedestals. All right, we are back, and after some extensive, thorough expert testing, yep. we've come to the following... Well, I've come to the following conclusion. <laughs> Number five. Number four. Three. Two. And one. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Can I look at the bottom of one? Yeah. Interesting. So, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one was like clearly first. Like, I'm hoping it was, that's a good one. I'm hoping I did okay and I'm not embarrassing myself. But number one was clearly first place in this. Four and five were clearly the bottom two with five you know, inching out number four by just a hair. Mm -hmm. Two and three kind of kept going back and forth. They were good. They were, I really liked, I liked them all for the most part, other than four and five. They were okay. They weren't gross, but they just, they weren't that good. Right. But one, two, and three all, I could sit down and actually drink those on a, like a, just sip nice. on them and enjoy it. So. All right. Let's get by. Well, do you want me to try to guess? Sure. Sure. I, I may not show this. Okay. Right. Like if it's really bad. See, I'm that's no fun, man. I think this is Buffalo Trace. I <laughs> think this, I think this might be Wild Turkey. I think that is Evan Williams, one of, Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. I think this one is Fighting Cock. And this one is, <laughs> well, maybe Old Tub. Hmm. All right. Okay. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. Go grab the five bottles. <laughs> But I could four of those I listed in my in what I guess they were. And old t are you serious? I am positive. Oh my gosh, out of ten bottles that I haven't had. You did pretty good, I think, on the ratings right. too. So we'll see. This is really funny. The five I actually <laughs> called the five bottles in the group. I don't know if I actually labeled them correctly, but I actually called the five bottles out of ten correctly. I'm I know you got at least one right. So let's let's actually jump. two. I think you got at least two right. So okay, we'll see. All right, fifth place. Okay, actually, now that I'm for sure, what did I say this one was? Fighting cock. Mm -hmm. So I think this one was fighting cock. Should we try that first? Number three. Eh. Ooh, old tub. Then it's got to be old tub. Yep, old tub. He says it like he got it. You only get one guess. You oh, well, don't I get know. to be like, oh yeah, wait, that's this. <laughs> well, I knew if it wasn't if it wasn't fighting cock, it was old tub. That means this one's fighting cock. So <laughs> I'm pretty confident number four is fighting cock. Number one. Yes. Nice. Number three is number two, and I said it was wild turkey. I'm pretty sure it's wild turkey. Yep. All right. Pretty confident in this one, then. <laughs> David this knows, is Evan Williams 101. David knows his budget bourbons. <laughs> I kind of do. That's hilarious. Okay, number four. And dun, then dun, Buffalo dun. Trace. Yeah, you said that. Okay. 
That's the outcome he, for tonight. He's starting to know what he's doing here. Not really. So, <laughs> so here, okay, here's what kind of clued me in on what was going on. This one I liked, but it was kind of, it had this kind of like a little bit of a spice to it, a little bit something. You know, whenever I get something in bourbon and I can't really quite put it into words, I like it, but it's hard to describe. It makes me think of wild turkey. <laughs> so that's why I was like, it's good. I like it. I don't know how to describe what I'm tasting. And I always just refer to it as that wild turkey funk, but it, it worked. This one stood out from the crowd because there was very little to no peanut characteristic at all. Hmm. It was very fruity and it kind of tasted like a baby Eagle Rare. These two both have very, very strong peanut presence. And I, okay, I've only had Old Tub, I think, once. Mm. Um, but I remember I have had fighting cock quite a bit and it is, it's kind of a, it's, you know, a little more proofy, a little bit attitude and, but, it, but both of these had very strong peanut profiles and, mm. you know, old tub is a gem beam. This, I really, really liked. It was really nice. Seemed like a little higher proof. It has a What is the proof on that one? A hundred? A hundred proof. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, you know, it's a hundred proofs, but it has this like really kind of nice, drinkability i haven't had this in a long time to sip on i use this for cocktails so it kind of <laughs> so shake you and me i, I know <laughs> my, my hands cold Stop. David. really pretty good sipping bourbon I, I haven't sipped on it or tasted it without it being in a cocktail this is one of my go-to cocktail bottles so i haven't had it in a long time and so but it just kind of had this it reminded me of, of, Elvin, of Evan Williams, so that's uh, why I picked that one. What is the verdict? Well, for sipping, I didn't love the old tub and I didn't love the fighting cock. The Evan Williams, the Wild Turkey, and Buffalo Trace all were three really good sipping budget bourbons. Definitely, I definitely would recommend those. Buffalo Trace is, is kind of you. I know, I think you're trying solid. to act like you're too good for the budget bourbons i barely ever sip on this anymore i guess the video's over i don't know what else to say <laughs> if you ended up enjoying the video please give it a thumbs Ugh. thanks for tuning in to the channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't give us a thumbs up if you think david's doing okay <laughs> and until next time find a bottle you love i don't have any bottle <laughs> make sure you're looking right there I'm looking. Right stop there. looking at. Stop right looking at yourself. There. Right there. And me all the glasses. Job assistant. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. Mm, this one's delicious. Number first place. <laughs> I'm like, what? You didn't even try it. I barely ever sip on this anymore. That was that was high school. No. <laughs> that was college. <laughs> wah, wah. You suck. You suck. I, you're like. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> did not. All right. Can you just oh, sit there and be crap, quiet? It's my lip. It's it blind of its own. I heard a noise. It's like you're you were about to say something. You're blaming on me. It was probably your butt. <laughs> I do want to go. Never coming back here again. <laughs>